So I'll be introducing Division today, um, and I decided I would record a new video showing the two ways that I'll be teaching again this year. For today, I'm just starting with a single digit divisor. So the larger number that we're splitting apart is called the dividend. The number telling how many equal groups to make is the divisor, and then our answer up here is the quotient, and that quotient could or might not have a remainder. So I'm going to start with traditional. This is the way, the only way I learned to do division when I was in school. So we're looking at 533 divided by 2. We start here with the 5. 2 can go into that 5 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. We subtract the 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down that first 3. So now we're looking at how many times can 2 go into 13 evenly. And it can go in 6 times. 6 times 2 is 12. Again, we're going to subtract. 13 minus 12 is 1. Bring down that 3. 2 goes into 13 6 times. 6 times 2 is 12. 13 minus 2, 12, sorry, 3 minus 2, or 13 minus 12 is 1. So our answer here is 266 with a remainder of 1. This horizontal division is one that I learned last year. I actually <laughs> came across it um, on TikTok of all places. Uh, the algorithm figured out that I was a teacher and showed me this method, and it has made life easier for a lot of my kids. So this way already breaks it down for us into the individual digits, and so we're just looking at single digits here at the moment. So how many times can 2 go into 5? 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. This 1 comes up to join the 3 and makes 13. How many 2's can go into 13? 6 of them. 6 times 2 is 12. We write the 12 underneath. We subtract. We get a 1. That 1 again comes up to join the 3. 2 can go into 13 6 times again. 6 times 2 is 12. Again, we're going to subtract. This is our remainder, 266, with the remainder of 1. So for today, we are going to do 3 digits divided by 1 digit, 2 digits divided by 1 digit, 4 digits divided by 1 digit. So these are the problems we'll work on today in class. And once we get comfortable with the single digits, um, we will then move on to two-digit divisors. As I'm looking here, I'm noticing that I made an extra box that I didn't need, but that's the nice thing about drawing these. They're easy to fix. Um, anyway, feel free to have your student show you how to solve one of these. I'm going to teach both ways. I want them to have the one way that works for them. If that's traditional, great. If it's horizontal, that's awesome. Um, they can use either of these moving forward in fifth grade and into sixth. Um, hope that helps. As always, let me know if you have questions.